How's it going everyone and hope you're doing well. Welcome to this comparison video between the Puma Future 7 Ultimate with the Night Phantom GX2 uh, Elite. Um, both are fairly similar boots in terms of sizing um, when we do the comparison between the two. So both boots are very accommodating for all feet types, which is a very good thing. Um, for narrow to normal feet types, we recommend going a half size down, especially if you've got narrow feet because both boots run really wide in the toe box and the shooting area of the boots. It's a wide surface area designed for shooting and passing. Um, so you can have a lot of space, especially for narrow feet types. Um, same applies with the Phantom GX2s here, um, targeted for shooting and a lot of space in the toe box area and the front of the boot. So for narrow feet types, we recommend going half size down. Um, and then normal feet types, again, try true to size. If it's too much space in the in the toe box, then just go a half size down too. And then for wide feet, go true to size. And for very wide feet, try true to size, and it should be all right. If not, maybe go a half size up just to give a bit more space um, in the toe box area. But they're very, very accommodating um, in terms of uh, for all feet types. So that is a very good thing. When it comes down to sole plate, um, Phantom GX2 is more for firm grounds as the Cyclone 360 is targeted for grass pitches. Um, but if you don't have the money, you can wear these on AG, but do wear them for at least two weeks just to get used to the boots and for the materials to soften before you take them into a match itself. Um, the Puma Future 7s, the Ultimates, these are actually a better in terms of uh, the different pitches that you can wear on as they're accommodating for AG pitches as well. So like 3G, 4G, fake grass pitches, um, turf pitches, then over the Phantom GX2, which is more focused for firm ground and real grass pitches. These are definitely much more accommodating for both firm ground and artificial grass. So if that is an important factor for you in terms of not injuring yourself or slipping, or if you've had history of twisting your ankles before, then go for more of the Puma Future 7s as they're more reliable, um, stronger stability wise, and also gives you a better traction, traction on different um, surfaces, on firm ground and artificial pitches. That's not to say the Phantom GX2 Elites is not good for artificial grass. Um, it's not recommended from Nike. However, if you do give it maybe two weeks of use of practice on those artificial pitches, you are going to eventually um, be able to play on AG pitches as well. Now, when it comes down to pricing, um, the Phantom GX is a bit more expensive than the Futures, probably about um, 20 or 30 euros more or pounds more. So it's a bit more expensive in that sense, but you do get a string bag with these um, Puma Puma boots. And no, so with the night boots here and Puma features, you won't get any string bag. So you'd have to buy maybe additional 10 euro uh, string bag itself. So the price is fairly, fairly similar and there isn't much difference um, between the two. Um, the Future 7 has a iconic thing where you can take off the laces and just have non non laces boots and um, because of the tape being in the middle here and um, it gives you that kind of stronger stability and lockdown when without the laces um, and also that tighter fit so that is why we recommend for narrow to normal feet type to go a half size down if you're going to wear um, with laces or without laces um, just to give you that kind of tighter and um, stronger a stronger fit especially if you're going to wear them without laces then maybe you might need to go one size down especially if you've got narrow feet type um, just to give you that tighter fit and um, without being it too loose now let's go and weigh these two boots and see if there's much difference between the two boots itself So as you can just see now, as we've weighed the two boots 
Um, the Puma Future 7s are 20 grams more heavier than the Phantom GX2 itself. These weigh in around 246 to 247, whereas the Phantom GX2 is about 219 to 220 grams. So if weight is a big factor for you um, in terms of these kind of boots that are designed for creativity, striking, um, passing and shooting of the boots, then maybe go for the Phantom GX2 if you prefer a lighter boot. Um, if you prefer something a bit more heavier, offers a bit more protection, um, and also because of the collar perhaps um, playing a part to the weight, um, then go for the Puma Future 7's uh, Ultimate Editions. But both boots are super comfortable, haven't had any issues whatsoever when it comes to blisters um, or breaking time. Within a few, maybe a week, you break into the boot straight away and the material soften up very, very quickly. Um, both boots are really reliable and durable, which will last you at least one year of use and maybe more, depending on how, how well you keep them and take care of them. But yeah, highly recommend uh, both of the boots, whichever one you decide to go for, top um, elite boots for sure. If you have a pair of these in an older colorway or you have both, make sure to also leave a comment down below in the video on what you think, um, how you found them, pros and cons as it's really, really helped out people when they're looking to upgrade or get a new pair of boots and helps them in their decision making for sure. And yeah, thank you very much for watching this comparison video between these two uh, really top end football boots. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave the video a like and to subscribe to the channel as we plan to make many more boot reviews and comparisons. And thanks again for the support as the channel continues on to grow um, monthly and daily and weekly. So we're super thankful. All the very best and take care.